Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you the easiest way to install Pandas, Matplotlib, and Rasterio libraries in Python. Usually to install them, you need to do some coding. But in this video, I want to show you a way using which you don't need to do any coding. Let's get started. As I said in this video, I want to show you the easiest way to install Pandas, Matplotlib, and Rasterio libraries in Python. Usually to install these libraries, you need to do some type of coding which can be a bit cumbersome to some people. In this video, I will show you the easiest way to install them in Python. First, let's go over a quick overview about these libraries. Pandas is a Python package that provides fast, flexible, and expressive data structures designed to make working with rational or labeled data both easy and intuitive. It aims to be the fundamental high-level building block for doing practical real-world data analysis in Python. Additionally, it has the broader goal of becoming the most powerful and flexible open-source data analysis or manipulation tool available in any language. Matplotlib is a comprehensive library for creating static, animated, and interactive visualization in Python. Matplotlib makes easy things easy and hard things possible. It can create publication quality plots, make interactive figures that can zoom, pan, update, customize visual style and layout, and export to many file formats. And lastly, Rasterio is a Python library used for reading and writing geospatial raster datasets. It provides function and classes to access and manipulate raster datasets such as satellite imagery, digital elevation models, or DEMs, and other geospatial data formats. Rasterio is built on top of GDAL or Geospatial Data Abstraction Library and Python's NumPy library, which makes it efficient for working with large raster datasets. Before we start the installation process, I assume you have already installed Anaconda Python. If you need help installing that, I refer you to one of my prior videos. Without further ado, let's go to Anaconda Python and show you how you can install these libraries in the easiest way possible with no coding required. Okay, here is the Anaconda Python. I'm going to first make a new environment. You don't need to do that, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to make a new environment. To do that, I first come here, create right here, and I'm going to put a name test or new environment or whatever you would like. And I'm going to choose this version. Be careful not to choose this one but choose the one that Python is suggesting itself. And that's it, so I'm going to create it. It's going to take a little while, and it's being created. So it's all done. Let's first go to home. First thing you need to do is to install the spider, because that's where I want to work in, and if it's the same for you guys, you have to first install the spider. I'm going to install it. It's going to take a little while again. As you can see, it's almost being done now. Okay, the spider is installed now. Now let's go back to environments. Here make sure you choose the environment in which you want to install the libraries. Go back here. And let's put this on not installed. After you put not installed here, you just go here in the search packages, you just search for pandas. Pandas. And enter. You just look for pandas which is right here, and you just hit apply. So first writing pandas, and then you just find pandas, which is here. Notice that there are lots of panda related things that came up, but just choose the pandas here. And then just hit apply. And then wait for it a little bit. And now apply. And again, you have to wait for it to be installed. Okay, Pandas installation is complete. Now let's go for matplotlib. You just go up here again, not install, but then here we write matplotlib. Hit the enter, see what comes up. Again, just choose matplotlib here. Nothing else, just matplotlib here. And then just hit the apply, and wait for it again. And now hit the apply again. And again, you have to wait for it to be installed. So the matplotlib is installed now. Now the last library that I want to install is Rasterio. We just go up here again and we type and we type Rasterio. And the only library is going to come up and you just choose it 
and then hit the apply again and wait for it again and now hit the apply again and then wait for it to be installed okay the installations are complete now and now we could go and check if the libraries are installed correctly this is the moment of truth we go back to home you have to first refresh it the way I do it I first change the environment I'll go to the base first or you could X out of Python and then open it again to refresh it now come down here I'm gonna launch a spider okay first I want to check if pandas is installed correctly all you have to do is to just go to the console and write this and now hit the enter if there is no error after this that means you have installed pandas correctly if there was an error you gotta go back and see if you have installed it correctly or you could just write import pandas no error now I want to check matplotlib the same thing I should just see if it would be imported okay no error came up which means matplotlib is also installed correctly now the last thing is rasterio same thing you just write this and you hit the enter if there was no error as it is here that means the rasterio has been installed correctly if not that means the rasterio has not been installed correctly and you gotta go back and check what you did wrong but if you follow everything that I showed you in this video, you will be able to install these three libraries very easily in Python. Don't forget to first install Spider if you intend to work in it. And then go and install the other libraries. The order by which you install these libraries doesn't matter. I first installed Panda and then Matplotlib and then Rasterio. But it doesn't matter which order you install this library by. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.